We're certainly going to be talking about Primo today and talking about what, uh, what Primo can do, how it works, how you can get the best out of it. Um, we're going to show you a little trial as well that we've been running, show you how it can actually have an effect on, on the turf and what it, should be, uh, what it should be doing and bringing to the turf and bringing to the actual performance of the turf as well. One of the new pieces of research that we've been uh, looking at over the last, um, last couple of years actually, but it's just starting to come out now. You wouldn't have seen this research actually. It's, uh, it's uh, hot off the press in terms of getting it out into the industry and you should start to see a bit more of this over the, uh, the next year or so. This was a trial that uh, was run in Scandinavia. We weren't actually looking at the effects on uh, disease. It was part of a registration trial actually, but uh, these are just some interesting results that came out of that registration work. And it's been pointed out to me that uh, uh, I've got to be careful not to say that it's any sort of substitute for a fungicide or for maintaining turf to uh, prevent getting disease, but it did show some interesting results in terms of the grass plant able to withstand disease um, attack. So what happened is that they run a Primo program from the April all the way through to September, and you can see various different rates there on the, uh, on the control plots. And then during, I think it was December, in that part of the world up there in Scandinavia, they get a lot of snow and the snow came and it was there for about three months. And it just sits there and didn't, didn't move. And that's, that's pretty uh, common for that part of the world. After the snow had melted, this is what they found. As I say, it wasn't actually a, a trial to, to look at this, but these are just interesting results. And you, I don't know if you can see this quite clearly, but you can see here with the control, it's pretty much covered in, uh, in snow mold and here 0.2 of a litre, which is, is the very, very lowest rate really we'd ever recommend. There's a little bit there, but certainly uh, not so much disease as, as you can see. And then when you start getting up to the 0.6 and the 0.8 litre applications, as I say, and this has been put on monthly, almost uh, clear, completely to get it clear, some, certain, certain, some circumstances of disease. So it just shows you that what you're getting when you're using Primo, you're not just getting a, a better grass plant, you're not getting better performing turf, but because the general health of the grass plant is improved, you've got a better root system, you've got a generally healthier plant, you're actually getting other benefits as well. As I say, we wouldn't say it's a substitute for um, uh, a fungicide or a fungicide program or managing turf to prevent disease attack, but it does bring some uh, interesting uh, new results. 